What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at how to fix the controls for the G29 if they're not working for you with the Techno Parrot games. That's going to be something like Dirty Driving or Batman or H2O Overdrive and some other games like those. Um, for some reason the, 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 the wheel just starts stops working with those games. Um, the UID for the, for the direct input um, something happens, I don't know why, and they become, uh, it changes, right? basically Windows changes the, the, the ID um, randomly sometimes. So uh, to get those working, basically what you're going to do, first thing I want you to do is go to the toolkit, go to exit to Windows. First and foremost, always when you use the G29, always calibrate the wheel. You can just go over to the on the desktop if you have one of my systems there's that usb game controllers icon right there you want to go over here to properties and you want to go to settings and then go to calibrate and just follow what it says on the screen it's going to have you move the wheel left to right and press the gas and all that stuff um, when you do that you want to make sure that logitech gaming software is running so mine is already running right here because i, I did start driving before in hyperspin before I started this video which will start that up but you can double check that it's there a little G blue G if it's not there go to the start menu and there it is all right so you want to have that running before you calibrate but always calibrate first all right so uh, you can just exit out because it will stay over here see um, all right so calibrate you're good to go now I want you guys to go over here to utilities and I want you to go to joy to key driving MAME double click on that and then I want you to double click on joy to key.exe again that's gonna go over here it starts up minimized so you want to go over here and if you don't see it there click the little arrow and it'll be there uh, double click that it's gonna open up you want to go over to options you want to go over to configure you want to go over to the second tab here and then click the drop down make sure you select whatever says connected for the Logitech see there's a few of them here but you want to select the one that says connected and make sure it says joystick one if it doesn't say joystick one if it says something else like default make sure it's on one make sure you click ok and at that point you can close this out and then i want you to go into hyperspin and i want you to do start driving and then i want you to go test one of those games again test like dirty driving or batman they're right at the top of the list if it's still not working at that point i want you to exit back out again once again make sure that lgs is running Okay, start it from here if it's not. I want you to go back to Joy to Key, so utilities, Joy to Key Drive Your Meme, Joy to Key.exe, and then you want to go ahead, you can double click on it just to make sure it's running. You can leave it on the screen like this. All right, then you want to go to Emulators, you want to go to Techno Parrot, uh, you want to go to Techno Parrot Driving Games. Then you want to go over here to User Profiles. And you want to double click on Batman and we're just gonna minimize this and you're gonna double click on dirty driving all right so now we have these two files open right so what you want to do and by the way you guys can back these up just in case it's always good to do it why not so just right click user profiles copy that paste it now you have a backup if anything goes wrong all right so Moving on, we're going to go to Technoparrot UI. You're going to open that up. And uh, I like to use Dirty Driving for this. So click on Dirty Driving right there. You're going to see the icon over here changes. And you're going to go to Controller Setup. It's very simple controls, guys. Just start, crank up, view, wheel access, and gas. So for start, you're going to click on Start. And you're going to press the Option button on the wheel. Uh, by the way, see how that happened right there? I'm glad that happened. So make sure always right click the taskbar, go to task manager. You can go to details, um, scroll all the way down and make sure that X pattern, which I'm not seeing here. All right, let's try that again. Then since X pattern is not running. Um, oh, you know what that, what that is? That's probably Joe to keep doing that. So we want to click on this blank one right here. All right, I'm going to click on this blank one, then try it again. So we're going to click on start and press option. There we go. Driving buttons nine. 
All right, so then we want to go to crank up. Uh, you can skip that one actually. You want to go to view, click, and then press the triangle button on the wheel. It's going to say driving buttons three again. All right. You want it to end up saying what was there already. Wheel axis, driving X minus. So you're going to click on that. I'm just going to move the wheel to the left. There you go. And then click on gas and step on the gas pedal. As you can see, everything stayed the same way it was before. That's what you want. Okay. You're just redoing it, redoing what was already there. Again, skip crank up, just do the other ones. After you do that, you do save settings. All right, now you're gonna, you're gonna close this out and you're gonna go over here to uh, Notepad++. I wanted you guys to keep that open the whole time. Just keep it open, but minimized. So when you go over here, if you, when you select dirty driving, it's gonna say that there are some changes and it's gonna say, do you want to reload it? You're gonna go to yes. All right, so for you guys, if it's not working for you, the wheel, this ID right here, this GUID, right? Only the numbers. You see how there's an opening tag and there's a closing tag with this forward slash. You're gonna copy only the numbers like that. Don't copy the little triangle, the little arrows at the ends, just the number. You're gonna copy that. And then if you go back to Batman, you're going to see that Batman is going to say something different. Again, for me, it's not doing it because mine is already configured um, and I don't have I, I don't have the issue right now. It's not happening on my PC, so mine are matching. But on yours, when you go over to Techno Parrot and you did what we just did, this ID will change and you'll see that this one and then if you go over here, this one will be different. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a search and replace on all of these XML files for each game so that you don't have to go in and do one by one and map them manually. So we're going to go to search, find in files. And here you want to type find what you're going to paste what we just, uh, I'm sorry. Now we're going to do for find, we're going to do replace with, we're going to paste what we just uh, copied, paste it there. What we copied from dirty driving and find what you're going to paste the one from Batman. You copy that number, copy that, paste it here. All right. So basically what we're telling it is find the Batman ID, replace it with a dirty driving ID. Why? Because we just did the dirty driving control mapping. So whatever ID is here is the one that we need for all games. So you want the Batman one to be replaced with the dirty driving one. That's what we're doing. Find what? And we're putting the Batman ID replaced with, we're putting the dirty driving ID. Then for filters, you want to do asterisk dot XML. And then for directory, you want to click three little dots. You want to go over to arcade, D drive arcade. You want to go to emulators. You want to go down to techno parrot. Uh, where is it? Techno Parrot Driving Games, and in Techno Parrot Driving Games, you want to go to User Profiles, click on that, and then finally click OK. So here's your full path: D Arcade Emulators, Techno Parrot Driving Games, User Profiles. All right. So now it's going to replace every single file that ends in XML, which is all of the files inside of the User Profiles folder. It's going to replace this number with this number. Again, mine is the same yours it wouldn't be if it wasn't working correctly at that point you're gonna do replace in files you're gonna click on that and then click OK if it asks you to confirm or whatever you're gonna let it do it now what you're gonna notice because you have these two open here is that when you click on Batman it's gonna tell you that it it the same thing it asked me before it's gonna say if you want to refresh it you're gonna click OK and you're gonna notice that this number here is gonna change because by doing this you updated that number right so now Dirty Driving and Batman are both going to match. And that's it. You can go ahead and close everything out. That's going to have happened for every single file in that folder, which is every single profile for every game. So by doing that, you just changed all of them at once to the proper ID that you should be using because that's why you mapped with Dirty Driving. That is your current ID that Windows has assigned to the Logitech G29. 
So everything after that is gonna work. So you can go ahead and close this out. Close this out. Uh, you can go ahead and close Joy to Key. And you can go ahead and uh, just start up Hyperspin, do start driving and go ahead and test Batman or Dirty Driving and it should work just fine. And just one more time guys, very important. When you go to Joy to Key, driving main, you open it up. Remember what happened to me earlier. So make sure you're on blank profile because if not, if you're on one of these and you press one of the buttons, it could assign one of these assignments and you don't want that. All right, so make sure it's on blank. Then go ahead and open up Techno Parrot and do that dirty driving mapping. All right, guys, that's going to be it. That was a little bit, you know, it's a, it seems like a lot of stuff to do, but once you do it once or twice, it's, it's really easy. Now just follow along every single thing I said and you'll be good to go. I'll see you guys on the next one.